Today I will be going over some basics of New York's commercial tall tug tagging program and showing you how to apply the tag to a live fish. As of 2021, all commercially harvested tall tog along the Atlantic coast must be tagged. This includes commercial trips where the catch is intended for personal consumption. These requirements are in addition to the commercial seasons, size limits, and trip limits for commercially harvesting tall tog in New York State. You can find all of the details of the Tautog tagging program at our website. This website contains links to all the forms, including the digital order form for requesting tags from the department. So let's start with the basics. To tag, you will need an applicator and commercial Tautog tags issued by the department. The applicator is available from the National Band and Tag Company. The link for the applicator form and the National Band and Tag website is also located on the department's Tautog tagging program page. To get tags from the department, you will need a valid New York food fish license and to submit a Tautog tag request form. The request form is available on our website. Using our digital form is the quickest way to get your tag order processed. Please be aware that order processing can take up to five business days. Tags must be applied to commercially harvested tautog prior to any species from that trip being offloaded, transferred to shore, to another vessel, to an in-water storage unit, or to any pier, wharf, dock, or similar structure. This allows commercial harvesters to tie up at the dock before tagging if they choose. Tags should be applied to one of the tautog's gill plates with the tag information visible on the outside of the fish. Once you have your tags and applicator, you are ready to tag your commercially harvested tautog. Please note that you want to make sure the tag is secure in the applicator before you tag your fish. This will streamline the process once your fish is ready for tagging. The tag applicator works by first slotting the piercing tip into the slot and then bending the tag around the slot. This prevents the tag from disengaging and being reused. The most important part is making sure that the depression area of the tag is aligned with the depression area of the applicator. It is important to note that only the applicator made for these tags will attach them properly. As you can see, when using a regular set of pliers, the tag does not engage properly and may fall off the fish as a result. And now to tag our fish. As you can see, we are using a large wet towel. We've found that this makes for the most stable work surface and also prevents the fish from flopping around as much. You can also place the towel over the fish on the lower half, which will aid in restraining during the tagging process. Make sure to fully depress the applicator so that the tag locks in place. The tag will need to be clamped onto the tautog's left gill plate, which is also called the opercular bone. The ideal tag placement is the lower section of the gill plate, which helps avoid gill structures and blood vessels. This takes a bit of practice, but once you get a feel for it, it's very clear when the tag has fully engaged. Tag should be applied to the left side of the fish with the numbers facing out. Instructions for how to report your tag use are available on our Tautog program website. Please remember to record the pounds, count, and serial numbers of the tags you used when reporting your commercial Tautog landings. Any unused or damaged tags must be returned to the department or you will not get full credit for accounting for the tags you were issued. Forms for reporting tag loss or stolen tags are also available on our tagging program website. Tags are valid from April 16th through January 25th of the tagging year they were issued in and are non-transferable. The New York State Department of Environmental Conservation strives to promote healthy and sustainable fisheries. This program is part of a coast-wide effort to reduce the illegal harvest of tautog. The Division of Marine Resources wants to thank the fishing industry for their contributions and patience with this coast-wide program.